Hey everyone, I'm Ali from Ali CJ Cooks and for this recipe we are making a katsu curry sauce from start to finish. So we're starting off with, I've got a couple of fairly sort of slim carrots here, but you can use one large carrot. We're going to slice that really, really thinly. The thinner you can slice it, the quicker it's going to cook, which is only a good thing. So that goes into a saucepan with about a tablespoon of light vegetable oil, sunflower oil, whatever you have to hand, not olive oil. Um, the flavor won't be right for this recipe. So just a, a tablespoon to maximum because that's going to be the base as well for our, um, for our roux, which thickens the sauce. So whilst you're chopping an onion, get your carrots sauteing on the cooker and get those nicely softened and ever so slightly caramelized chop an onion i happen to have some onion which i'd already started chopping and also a clove of garlic you can add more garlic if you want some people use two or three cloves in this recipe i'm using just the one add the onion and the garlic to your partially cooked carrots and get that back on the stove cooking through just a little bit more for a couple of minutes until everything's nice and softened you don't want it to be browned you just want it to be softened to that, I'm going to add a really good tablespoon of curry powder. You can use whatever curry powder you fancy, a hot one, a mild one. I've got, it's a quite as generic mild curry powder that I've added here. I've got a teaspoon of smoked paprika. You can use just regular paprika if you want to. I wouldn't use a hot one um, unless you really want it nice and spicy. Get all that stirred in and then back onto the stove just for um, just for a minute maximum, just to get the sort of release the flavors from the spices and get those cooked through so they don't have that raw flavor to the sauce. Now to this, I'm going to add some flour. And this is where you think um, you're, you, when, when you make perhaps a, another sauce or a soup or something, um, you need a fat base. So you have a, a either a butter or an oil at the base, and then you add some flour and that makes what we call a roux. Um, and to this, I'm going to add just a little squirt, of, again, just less than a tablespoon, not even actually, probably about two teaspoons of agave or agave nectar to that. Um, it's not compulsory it's completely optional you don't have to add it if you want to and i've got a tablespoon of soy sauce um, you can use the light soy sauce or you can use a reduced salt soy sauce and you can also use tamari if you don't want um, gluten and i will give instructions for a gluten-free sauce not using flour um, and get all that stirred in now we want to cook that out it's called cooking it out we're going to cook out the flour on the stove just for about a minute stirring all the time don't let it catch on the bottom don't let the spices burn don't let the flour burn to add to that i'm going to add about 600 milliliters of vegetable stock essentially i've got you know you can add sort of the, the the equivalent water to a really good stock cube or a couple of teaspoons of stock powder Give it a really good whisk. It doesn't matter so much if you have a couple of lumps from the from the roux mixture from the flour because we are going to blend it at the end. Cook that out on the stove for a good five minutes until it's thickened, whisking quite frequently um, and just until you get this sort of thick, sort of glossy gravy, if you like. Now, it's quite delicious as it is, but we're going to blend it until completely smooth. I'm using my stick blender or immersion blender here. Here. You can also use a bullet. Make sure if you're using a blender with a lid that you let it cool slightly before you put it in. Otherwise, it's going to cause a vacuum. You'll never get the lid off. So here what we have is a nice creamy glossy sauce. I'm finishing with a couple of dollops of coconut cream. I've taken the coconut cream from the top of the can and that's it. That's my katsu sauce and that's, that's it. Job done. And I'm serving it with some crispy chickpea patties and some rice and there we have it katsu curry sauce you can serve it with all sorts of things noodles as well head over to alicjcooks.com it's an online cookery school it's really cool we've got a support forum it's a nice place to be remember be kind be happy